it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today we're <clears throat> excuse me, doing some more testing here on my map. Um, we're to the combining stage. I've got the field opened up. Uh, I've got auto combine running right now. So we're just going to run around here and unload him. Uh, I did try using course play at first, but it uh, was kind of acting strange wasn't liking this field layout that I've got that much so um, yeah let's see here we've got the t800 high hood here so I have made some changes obviously um, traded the 94 and unreferred for 8440 and a kill bros 1950 uh, I see that this back decal did not change but whatever um, reason for that um, the other cart the fill capacity was set to 950 which was way off but even what it should be is a little small so and then because I have not added an elevator yet although actually I have uh, which you'll see in tomorrow's video but um, I haven't saved it and you know brought it over and whatnot yet so what we're doing here is we're going control R just making some piles and then when I go to test the um, um, you know when I do put in the version with the buildings and whatnot all I got to do is buy the you know like one of the grain augers and just sit here and you know load the trucks up uh, out of these piles so yeah so that's all um, the corn is yielding very well which is nice so um, since the last video I have taken the no gloss and remove haze mods out of my mods folder and the the quality like the quality of my game just looks so much better without those because they let Real Daylight version 2 do its full job. So, um, much, much nicer looking gameplay now. It looks just so much better. I have not changed the sky texture as of yet. Um, that's something that I'm going to be changing very, very soon, hopefully. So, um, yeah, get a nice HD sky texture in here. I need to talk to some people. I have the withering, or the, you know, like the withering wheels and whatnot turned off right now for drive control, because with mud, it removes the mud, so I have to talk to some guys that use the, you know, the withering, yet still have, holy crap, yet, um, you know, their mud stays, it doesn't remove, or, you know, get deleted when they, um, when they run over it with a vehicle and whatnot. So, I have to figure that out, mess around with that a little bit. Um, but, so at the moment I don't have it on, so nothing's happening. And it kind of looks like this combine does have a dirt skin on it. Yeah, it does. Okay. I wasn't sure if it did or not. I guess it does. Okay, now we get auto combine going again. Don't know what the deal is with the header animation right now. Our truck is fully unloaded, so let's go look. How much grain do we have sitting here? We have... 35,520 liters which is just about 75 percent so basically what my plan is you know I'm starting right here so once this piles full I'll pull ahead a little bit make another pile and just keep continuing until I get to a pile that's really close to this and then I'll stop jump on the other side and continue on or else I'll just go back to way back here 
and just go next to the other pile or something. But this will be the last episode of testing for a little while. Um, I'll do another video when I test like the doors on the buildings that I put in and test like the grain or the yeah the grain station trigger which is your cell point and test like the gas station and when I test some stuff again in game I'll do another video but you know like I'm gonna continue this harvest but it's just because I want to harvest you know get this harvest finished and whatever so I haven't played on a map with not using soil mod for quite a while although next week we will be um, you'll see that on Monday um, I actually did a live stream, I mentioned it in a live stream that I did on, I think it was Tuesday that I live streamed, Tuesday or Wednesday, and um, I mentioned it then. So if you were one of the people that had joined the stream, uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun finally streaming again, it's been a long time since I've streamed. Um, I had somebody ask, you know, in the stream if I've ever live streamed before, or if this was like my first live stream or whatever. Oops, back up a little farther. Um, you know, and, you know, I have live streamed before, I just have not done one in a long time prior to that one. But, they're definitely more fun than videos because my viewers... You know, you guys can be there, you can interact interact with me then, and that kind of stuff. So it's it's definitely a lot more fun to have a live stream, but it just, it takes, you know, you gotta have some more time to do it. You know, like, the videos, I record a half hour and I'm done. With that, you know, you do, you, know, you could do a shorter one, but you don't get a whole lot done, and... You know, not everybody joins it, like, right away either, and all that stuff, so. It's just more fun to do a live stream when you have, like, an hour or something. I think I streamed for two, two hours or so that day. So. Yeah, it was fun. Long trek up here from the other end of the field. In a way, I kind of wish I'd kept alongside of the field, but I kind of like it the way it is there. I do want to add the script that makes it so that, like, if you're plowing or planting or anything, uh, it, I think it's only for plowing and planting your ground like moves with it uh, with your piece of equipment rather than just like the little angles that are standard so Now we filled up that spot, so now let's pull ahead a little. Make the next pile. And 
hop back in the cart here. So how much does one pile hold? 48,000 liters, okay. So we'll go unload our combine because he's full. Whoa. I need to remember I'm driving an articulated tractor, not a normal tractor. So yeah, this is the last video I have to record for the week, and it's Thursday. I uh, still have two, well, two including this video to get uh, edited and uploaded and whatnot, but still doing pretty well so far. It's always nice to stay ahead. Um... Maybe even get some of next week's videos started on recording already. That'd be nice. Be really getting ahead then. It's definitely very uh, difficult going this first time around. Uh, on this this pass though, it wasn't hard because I could just drive on the other side of the fence. But before, I'd have to just wait until the combine filled and then back him up and I wanted to get the get the field opened up one round at least before I started recording just because then it wasn't such a headache but I do have a pile up here a couple piles there's one um, I just dumped the rest of the seed that was left you can see the little pile is the seeds and the big one is corn because uh, I just wanted to try it to see if it would work and then it did so then I brought the truck over to that area and went from there so <clears throat> so the nice thing about you know like doing this without soil mod right now is because the yields are high enough and everything's fertilized I could just continuously drive alongside the combine even once he reaches zero percent he can still keep unloading and like the um, the animation coming out of the auger won't stop which it needs to be moved forward so it won't stop a whole lot like there it kind of does but it doesn't continuously stop like a soil mod map because you're not filling as fast then but like here it's filling fast enough that it can just about continuously go but now it is kind of stopping I guess of course I say it doesn't usually stop and then it starts stopping go figure we're gonna set up some GPS so that way we can drive straight straight alongside the combine Combine's getting nice and dirty now. I didn't know if this combine had a washable, you know, if it was washable or not. The tires don't seem to be, unless they get dirty later, but. Move this more to the center of the cart here. So I need to fix the decals on this grain cart and on the other one. I think it's just the decals um, texture file, but okay, so we're just gonna run up here, kind of wait a little bit farther up. we got in this pile already 50% already that's crazy just gonna take this moment to reply to a couple messages again
Let's unload him to the end here. A lot of corn here. Holy smokes. Okay, so we're gonna hop into the combine here. Just dismiss the worker, because I want to get these corners squared off. So that way, it, uh, that way auto combine will just turn a little bit nicer. It'll kind of turn similar to how I just did just now. this thing unloading and then we can by the time we get up here and get started on unloading then we can watch the combine when we gets to this end make this corner squared off and now we'll just start unloading Now it's just going to go straight into the pile. It won't even pile into the truck right now. Not until that pile ends, then we can just pull the truck forward. But we need to watch the combine here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to get it right like this, so that way I can just go perfectly straight. Why, but this header is not like its animations don't want to run that well. I don't know, maybe it's just the map. I don't think I've really used this corn head a whole lot. So I don't know if it's the header itself or not. And of course it wants to miss. Oh, I hate that. Eight percent in our truck that it did not. Uh... Oh, I guess the wheels do have a dirt skin on them. So we have eight percent in our truck that did not go into the pile. So we'll wait until we unload the next time, and then we'll just start the next pile. lined up as best as I can. Right. <clears throat> so I'll get whipped around here and unload this guy. So the way that I am doing these piles is the tip anywhere mod or it's either that or alternative tipping. I think it's the tip anywhere mod but both of them do pretty much the same thing so Here on this side, and 
this corner is already squared off, so now we are all set to go. And we need to go to this. This. Fold that out. Uh, actually, we can just remove these now. Yep, I guess this thing does have a dirt skin on it. I didn't think it did. So I was thinking, well, maybe I'll rebake it or something. Run it through Blender and redo its texture so that way it could work with dirt, but it already does, so don't even have to worry about it. Okay, so if he backs up any farther than the dirt, we're going to have issues. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. After this round, though, we'll be all set. Won't have to worry about the fences anymore. And then we'll be on our fourth time around, so we'll be... 48 rows in. So it'll be plenty far away. I don't know why this kind of didn't turn out more even. But I guess really fields aren't always even. Back up from the combine just a little bit. Other than that, right behind him. Let's see, what are we at for time here? 23. So we'll fill the grain cart once more. Yeah, I'm just going to stop the timer here. We'll fill the grain cart once more, unload the truck, get the next pile started. And then uh, we'll end the video. Let's just run up here and start unloading. Let's just get this cart filled up. Shouldn't take too terribly much longer. There goes auto save again. Running pretty much up to 60. That's always awesome. Again, I still don't have... I mean, there's not a whole lot of objects on here either, but... Still, even when there are objects on here, I should still be running around 60. I mean, other than fences, there's really not going to be that many more objects on here. I mean, there's going to be the realtor office, the gas station... The dealership, the two repair building, the two repair shops, the and then the elevator, and that's it. And then of course just the probably three or four farms. I think I'll maybe have like two two that are set up for um, grain, like one small and then one that's more large, and then one that's set up for kind of grain slash beef that'll be like a bigger farm and then one that's set up just for your pigs and then that'll be it so 
Really not going to be a whole terrible lot of objects on here, but it'll be just enough to make it nice, but not too much that it's, you know, excessive or laggy or any of that kind of stuff, hopefully. I mean, of course, I don't know yet, but I'm hoping it all, you know, runs smooth and, and it should. I'm building it to... You know, I, and hoping to get stuff adjusted to run, you know, good for me. So. I'm actually running almost the same setup on uh, the County Line series for Green Cart, only I'm running the Brent 1396 cart. Um, actually, we'll be doing corn harvest in the first video of that. I was hoping to have all the harvest finished, and then when I start it, it'd be like tillage and planting and whatnot, you know, springtime. But uh, there's a lot more harvesting to do than I kind of expected, so uh, I'm still combining. Not exactly what I had planned to be doing yet, but... Zoom out a long ways with this tractor, holy smokes. Combine's gonna become invisible pretty soon. Oh, there we go, there it stopped. I gotta zoom in. close to full. It is still going to be about the 30 minute mark, so... We're almost full. I don't have a whole lot more to go. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Oh, um, I know what I was going to show. So, if you remember when I did the last video on this, um, I talked I wanted to put a tool camera on the planter. Well, I did. Uh, I just have to adjust it so that way I can go down a little farther. So I can look down. Like, more towards the ground. But, otherwise I got it. It's added. It's good to go. So, um, but yeah, if we look here at this pile, this is... 15% of seeds it looks like wheat but and this is almost a full pile of corn this was like almost a truckload of corn so I'll run up here again we'll grab this last 4% that we need I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the combine because after the video is done I'm going to stop anyways so let the auger come all the way in and then we'll run up here and unload yeah we're not gonna miss that fence like I thought I was dang it it's the other annoying thing you gotta turn around and you got limited space. But, well, let's run up to the truck. Get this unloading and we'll be all set. I guess I didn't take the damage mod out of my game for playing on this, but oh well. If things get damaged, I'll just buy a pickup in my fuel trailer and fix them quick. I'll be all set. 
since I don't have the damage mod added in yet. Here you can see a little bit of a terrain change. Now it is mostly flat, but like I said before, there are some some hills and you know some ups and downs in areas, but it's it's mostly flat. You know, and I've been I haven't been to the area where this map is, but. I've been not far from it and you know it's kind of funny how you know you're driving and you know there's all these hills and then all of a sudden it just it just flat you know it's really really flat and it's just kind of crazy how it goes from you know all these hills and then it just you know it almost like suddenly stops and it's just it's kind of funny how it just changes like that but yeah it's it's definitely a lot more flat up in that area or over in that area I guess cause it's kinda over near Minnesota somewhat not far off I don't want my Jake break on Control R. that'll be a good spot to put the pile so Yeah, um, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, We'll see you tomorrow.